What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. It's transfer deadline day. Deadline day special here for everybody. Yeah, so make sure you strap yourselves in. Lots to talk about. It's the soap opera of the football world. So I'm going to tell you everything that is involving Manchester City. But before we crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help support my channel, then subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. The last big push towards 14,000 subscribers. I want it by what? Close of play tonight, I've said. We're around about there or thereabouts, give or take 10 subscribers either way. Around 300 subscribers away from that goal. I'm not going to look at my subscriber count. I'll be asleep by 11pm when the deadline day is here. British summertime in the United Kingdom. I'm not going to look till tomorrow morning. So if we can hit that by tomorrow morning. It's a big, big, big ass. But anything is possible. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't Social media links, they're in the description below too. And sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me. And follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email. Also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos. Or any general business enquiries. Also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. It's transfer deadline day. Let's go for 600 likes. Why not? Let's see if we can hit that. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. Yeah, we've got a green screen. There's there's mess behind, so I'll put the green screen up. We're not going to be doing anything fancy with the green screen. Not today, anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's blocking out the mess before anyone starts putting anything clever in the comments below. Yeah, right. The ins, what's promised so much, Lionel Messi, Kaladu Koulibaly, the sagas that's been happening over the summer. A big shout out, by the way, to Lupus1444 as well, commenting on nearly every single Kaladu Koulibaly video that I've put out there, helping the algorithm and grow for my channel, so thank you very much for that. Yeah, it's promised so much. So here we go, the final ins of the uh, transfer window of while the transfer window is open of the summer 2020 window. So, first player, Alex Tellers. Manchester City once upon a time were linked with the left-back. Manchester United have reached an agreement with FC Porto to sign him. Manchester United had a £15 million bid rejected, and so United, in response to that, have paid Porto exactly what they want, which is £18.1 million. Typical Manchester United pay what a club wants rather than doing their negotiations. It's getting right towards transfer deadline day and right towards the deadline itself. Hours apart here. Manchester United has had no choice but to get that done and uh, that transfer has been announced. So Alex Tellers is now a Manchester United player which is good news for us. It means he's not going to be playing against us in the Champions League for FC Porto. So yeah, next player that City have been getting linked with is Memphis Depay. Now Manchester City's name has been chucked out there. It's nothing more than our name being chucked out there. Uh, however, Hagrid FCB reliable information on Twitter has said that uh, Barcelona have an agreement with the player to join uh, Barcelona. That's been in place for weeks. Uh, they're still trying to negotiate a fee with Leon. That hinges on Usman Dembele leaving. Manchester United are thought to have been interested but only on a loan. Uh, not too much of a development there. I'm not sure if Usman Dembele will still become a Manchester United player or not. But at the moment in time, it's seemingly looking like Memphis Depay will not be joining Barcelona. And he will be staying at Lyon. So when City do decide to pursue for a striker. And that could well come in January if Kun Aguero doesn't get over his injuries. Then uh, City could well pursue Memphis Depay. That would be certainly an option for that. Now, uh, Manchester City have actually signed a player today. It comes in the form of Narwhal Bustos of Atletico Teleres, a striker 22 years old. He's going to go straight out on loan to Girona. That's according to Sky Sports in Germany. So, Narwhal, welcome uh, to Manchester City and joining Manchester City. And best of luck on your loan move to Girona. What a good way to end the end. Manchester City signing a player. Yeah, right. On to the outs. This is uh, getting a bit hectic and we'll have a nice summary out for tomorrow of what happens actually on deadline day. Now Fabrizio Romano has said that Manchester City, they're going to receive another bid tonight. Uh, 17 to 18 million euros it's believed from Barcelona for Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia is currently in Spain on international duty so he doesn't need to travel there. Uh, will Manchester City accept this offer? The deal hinges on Todibo leaving Barcelona. This is an ever-developing story but at the moment in time it's looking like Todibo will leave Barcelona and so if that does happen then they could make a very late move here for Eric Garcia so he could well still join Barcelona is the latest that we have on that. Now Manchester Evening News are reporting that Patrick Roberts he's going to join Middlesbrough today on loan for the rest of the season if he doesn't that can still go into the domestic window which will be open as of tomorrow so no real rush around that one but there is a rush around Toshin Adara Bayo um, Emiana reporting that uh, he will leave permanently today. 
Everton, West Ham and Fulham have all uh, been interested in signing Tosin Adara Bayo uh, and now he's having a medical at Fulham as we speak and it is believed that this will be a permanent transfer uh, that sh I would imagine would be concluded tonight and so as of tonight it looks like Tosin Adara Bayo will no longer be contracted to Manchester City and a Manchester City player which makes me sad but until that news is official I will not wish him the best because obviously it's not an official transfer just yet. Now Daniel Grimshaw, he's left Manchester City out on loan. He's gone and joined uh, Lommel SK of Belgium, who are part of the uh, City Football Group, the CFG. Uh, so best of luck to Daniel on his uh, move to Belgium and with Lommel SK. Young quality, good goalkeeper. Be interesting to see how he does abroad. Now... Last story, goal. They've been reporting that Oleksandr Zinchenko, he's going to be staying at Manchester City this summer. That means no left back. And with no left back, no striker signing, it means that for our first team, Manchester City will not be making any more additions this summer. Love to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Nathan Ake, Ferran Torres, Ruben Diaz. Are you happy with Manchester City's transfer business? Like I said, sagas of Messi and Koulibaly is what I'll remember for this transfer, uh, this transfer window. But, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So there we go, transfer deadline day. I'm going to keep you up to date with everything happening by retweeting sources and tweeting about things on Twitter. So Twitter, the best way to keep up to date with everything that will happen for the remainder of transfer deadline day. So make sure you follow me on my Twitter. You can find the link to that in the description below if you want to go and click on that and follow me on there. Or it will be sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter. Go and follow me on my Instagram as well. Why not? Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload. We'll be back again tomorrow for another transfer update. We'll summarise everything that's happening on transfer deadline day. We've got the domestic window to be going at as well with lots of transfers still happening with Manchester City. So we will still be seeing transfer updates. You don't have to worry too much about that over the next couple of weeks during the international break. Don't forget also, leave a thumbs up, aiming for 600 likes, or any help to us, that would be much appreciated. Uh, and also, all the other good stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that, and I'll see you all again for that video tomorrow, summarising everything that has happened on Transfer Deadline Day. We're nearly at an end with these transfer updates. This has been going on since what? Early July that I've been doing these? I mean, we've been doing some transfer updates in June. This has been going on since, since June. We're now in October. Oh man, right, we're nearly at the end, so I hope everyone's in, been enjoying the videos, thank you everyone for the continued support, uh, I'm going to be forever grateful to everyone, the amount of support everyone's shown me this summer, uh, and yeah, we'll be doing this all again in January, don't you worry about that with daily Manchester City transfer updates, Man City are going to be busy, like we said, we know we want a striker, we know we want a left back, that could happen in January, so uh, yeah, we'll see you then, imagine Lionel Messi talk will be going on again uh, into the winter and January when he's available for Man City to uh, get him on a pre-contract agreement, so lot Lots of stuff to look forward to, lots more news to come as well. Thank you everyone for the continued support. I've been JSGC, I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you for watching. Peace. Ciao for now.